Hello everyone, welcome back to Phoenix Wright's Ace Attorney Dual Destinies Demo. Yeah. The Okay, so let's get back in. The incident happened in this very coarse house in courtroom number four. A time bomb that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. I have been... I have heard the bomb spread <laughs> And the police and the police reports on the incident for the court. Stuffed animal bomb added to the court record. Bombing incident report added to the court record. Yeah. Hmm. If my memory serves to touch the court record button R and check the evidence. Wait. So this impish stuffed animal was the bomb. Well, yes and no. The actual bomb was stuffed inside there to hide the wires and the timer. Ah, so it is your claim that it was the defendant who activated this bomb? Yeah, exactly. The defense may boast, boast that they can finish faster than a bag of boiled rag rice. But the prosecution has a dis has a dissective e I can't say most of these words. Dissective evidence in, on the defendant's crime. And what, pray tell, is this? It appears to be a little singed. This, Your Honor, is a tale of the stuffed animal the bomb was in. It appears to be called phony fant, or such some of such nonsense. And, and what does the tale have to do with anything? It's, this tale is made of vinyl cloth, vinyl cloth. And we found something very interesting on the surface. The defendant's fingerprints. What? Now you see, the evidence clearly proves that the accused have handled the bomb. And what does appear to be pretty interesting evidence? Oops. The court accepts this item into evidence. Phony fan tale added to the court record. <laughs> it looks like this trial may have very well ended in under ten minutes. I'll be the ones wiping that smug off your face with a guilty verdict. What are we going to do, Mr. Wright? I don't know. This all thanks to you making that ten minutes comment. <sighs> That's what got us into this mess. Mr. Wright, I'll overlook your private quarrel just this once. Now then, let's move on. Mr. Payne, please, tell you to please call your first witness to the stand.